Hi all, I just wanted to put together a very quick video uh, to show you uh, a student uh, project that someone has just submitted to me uh, with an error in it. Um, some of you might be getting similar type of errors. So this is a, a, a solution to the class-based assessment. But we can see we're getting some errors. So if I look at the console, um, the and I'll just make this a little bigger so we can read it. If I click on the first one, it says um, the bulb controller, we're getting an error and it says semicolon and expected. And if I, if I, it's actually telling me the line number thing. It's in the bulb controller CS file, line 20, column 18. And if I double click on it, it actually brings up, look, there you go, line 20, column 18 means it's like 18 spaces out. And there's a red, uh, there's a red uh, squiggle telling you where it, where it is. And of course, it's just a semicolon that's miss missing. So that was an easy one to fix. Uh, next one up is uh, the controller bulb off transition. Uh, there you go. The controller bulb off transition in a state bulb off uses parameter uh, nothing which does not exist. And if I double click on it, uh, I'm not I'm not getting anything. Um, but it's the controller bulb off. So when they're talking about the controller, they're talking about the animator controller. So if I look at uh, the bulb and I see that it has a animator called bulb off. Uh, and it's saying that you're trying to transition in state bulb off with some type of parameter which does not exist in the controller. So let's have a look at the animator for bulb off. And I look at the parameters, it has no parameters. Um, and there's a bulb off state, there's a bulb on state, and it has two transitions. And there's no conditions, uh, no condition from on that transition, and there's no condition on that transition. So let's have a look at the code. Here's the code for the bulb controller. Ah, I found a problem already. Here you go. This is the this is the animator, and it's setting a it's setting the proper the boolean property called bulb off on the animator to false. But of course, the animator doesn't have a bulb off property. It has no properties. And this student has made made the mistake that they've put two boolean proper properties on the the bulb controller script. They're, these are completely different. The, here it's saying go to the bulb animator and set the boolean property on the bulb animator called bulb off to false. Now it so happens they also have um, two bo a boolean here called bulb off, but that's that's a different one altogether. Um, so what what you'd have to do to fix that is you'd have to sort of create a, a boolean, call it uh, bulb off. B. Actually, I'm going to call it. Um, something very different so we don't get confused. I'm going to call it uh, turn off bulb. And then in my code, we'll call it uh, turn off bulb. Now I could have called it bulb off, but I'm going to make it um, very different so that we there is no chance of me confusing it with these variables, which are, which are completely different. So now um, when you want to turn it off, I set this boolean turn off bulb to false and remember it's it is the boolean property that is on the animator, not the one on the script. Um, so that's when you want to turn it on and that's when you want to turn it off. Uh, uh, this person also, we could get rid of this code, code here as well and we could, oh yeah, actually, yeah, this does nothing. This is... Uh, this is setting bulb off to false. Probably could get rid of this line as well, but I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Um, and then obviously they're missing their transition. So we have a we, we we have a property here now. We want to go from bulb off to bulb on when let's put in a condition when the turn off bulb. So we want to go from bulb off to bulb on when the turn off bulb is true, and we want to go from bulb on to bulb off when the turn off bulb is false. Hopefully that works. Uh, so we want to go off when the turn off bulb is, that should be false. So we want to go off when the turn off bulb is false. Let me double check it. When the turn off bulb is, sorry, when the turn off bulb is true, we want to put the bulb off. When the turn off bulb is false, we want to put it on. Back to the code. So set this to true, oh, set this to true, and that's false, that's right. And that should do it. But anyway, my point is, 
that this student uh, incorrectly thought that the variable here, bulb off, was this variable, and it's not. They're, they're two totally separate variables. All right.